Hey y'all, what's up? I got a quick message. This message is about love. <laughs> so, um, I prayed off camera, but, and I'm sorry that I can't, I'm not showing my face, I'm not in a presentable look right now. Thank y'all for y'all patience. I'll be back on camera soon. But, um, so this message is about love. So me and God was talking last night. I was reading and he was talking to me. And mind you, I was reading. It had nothing to do about what he was talking about, but it don't matter. So God was talking about how men and women fall in love. And he was talking about the difference, how they don't fall in love the same way, even though we think that the same steps can be achieved for both sex and people fall in love. And that's not the case. So this is what the Holy Spirit told me. Holy Spirit, bring it to my remembrance. Hallelujah. Um, God was like, Holy Spirit was saying, he was like, women fall in love when they look at a man and they want, and they want to spend the rest of their life with him. And then he was like, men fall in love when they look at a woman and they cannot, they are aware and they choose to not ever live life without her they come into agreement with not wanting to live life without her now from the flesh that's it kind of it sound the same but it's different it is different and i'm gonna break this down how it's different um when a woman is in love you know she's looking at a man and she's she's envisioning tomorrow She's she's envisioning the marriage, the kids, the house, the white picket fence, her baking bread, her being there at weddings, funerals, them doing the journey together. That's what a woman's envisioning. But when that is what she's envisioning, that's her heart posture when she has identified, okay, I am in love with this man. The hard posture that a man has to have. This is what the Holy Spirit reveals to me. Y'all don't agree. Y'all take it up to the Lord. With the Lord, that ain't got nothing to do with me. But the, this is what the Holy Spirit was revealing to me. And I'm like, come on. But hey, thank you, Holy Spirit, for the revelation. He, okay, so a man, when he look at a woman, he look in a woman's eyes. And his mind thinks of life without her. And he is dissatisfied with the thought, is distasteful, is displeasing. He has come to the heart posture of, I do not want to live life and her not be a part of it. That is when he gets the revelation he is in love with a woman. They... They sound similar, but they're very different. One, like the women, the women looks in a more positive outlook, but the man has to look in a, an, um, it looks in the, in the negative. It, it looks at the, the man is basically, Holy Spirit speak through me. The man is basically choosing the decision based on trying to avoid the negative. But the woman is making her decision based on trying to, connect to the positive but the man is making his decision based off trying to avoid the negative um so just this is a beautiful revelation holy spirit gave me it's a quick video but um please know ladies and the man too i know it's some man waiting for their queen but please know um ladies um Men don't fall in love like we fall in love. So, you know, I can relate. I'm waiting for my full love story to manifest as well. And you don't want to fall into the flesh of thinking they fall in love the same way I do. They don't. They do not. And the Holy Spirit was talking to me about that last night. I did not wire you two to fall in love the same way. There's 
there's a different step in process. There's a different purging. There's a completely different flow of how the man falls in love versus how the woman falls in love. But the end goal is the same. The end goal is they both don't want to do life without the other. But the, the, the ordering of steps is completely different to a man falling in love versus a woman falling in love. Um, and also, too, guys, uh, ladies, if you are in a long, I don't believe in um, me personally. I, you know, this is my opinion. This is not the Holy Spirit speaking. But me personally, I don't believe in that dating a man five, ten years. A man, men are very observant. Men know when they meet a girl if they want to sleep with her, if they want to marry her. They know what category she goes in very quickly, very swiftly. They're very observant. And I know women think, oh, they dumb. No, men play dumb. They're not dumb. They just play dumb. <laughs> they know stuff and they'll choose to play dumb if you allow them to play dumb. Um, but I drifted, but I'm go. I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying that all to say, I don't believe in a like long distance. Oh, I was with this man for 10 years, not married, eight years, not married, 10. That's unacceptable to me, in my opinion. Um, a man knows. And, um, the longer you allow that, that's a problem. But back to what I'm trying to say. Another thing you can look at to know if a man is in love with you is <clears throat> observe is if he is okay with living life without you. It's just, it's just saying that men say a lot. Um, if you want to keep a man, you gotta you gotta learn how to be willing to lose him. That goes to what me and the Holy Spirit was talking about last night. Because I don't, I don't, and I don't know. It's weird me describing this because I'm a girl, but that's how the how men fall in love is not how women fall in love. So please release that expectation. But a lot of women are like waiting for the proposal. You didn't get the proposal from the man because he is willing to live life without you. That's why you didn't get the pro proposal, sweetheart. If you're wondering like why he's still in, because he thinks he's able to live life without you, fine. It's when the man reaches the step of, I don't want to live life without her. I reject it. I don't want that. That's when the man takes that step and jumps into that commitment. If a man did not commit and you've been dating him four, five, six, eight, ten years, obviously, and you know, every case, let me get this disclaimer before I post this. Every case has some differences like, Men also don't like to be unprepared. Men are providers. So if they don't have a house and certain things together, of course, they're not about to get on their knee and have a hot mess of a life with his wife. Men, you know, a real man wouldn't like that. So, of course, it's a very rare cases disclaimers, but I'm not talking about them cases. I'm talking about them cases when somebody them had you for 20 years. They ain't put no ring on your finger. They just milking the cow. They living their life and you just, you just okay with it. Waiting on, waiting on a prayer, waiting for this man to randomly care and <laughs> to feel this urgency of, oh, I might lose her. No, like a man, a man, men propose when they have came to, they've, a man proposes when he has fallen in love and he has come to the, but a man doesn't fall in love till he has come to the revelation, like the Holy Spirit said, so he has come to the revelation that he don't want to, he has come to the revelation that his life will be a negative without you, and he has come to the revelation that he don't want to live life without you. His heart rejects that. It doesn't it's not an agreement. We're living life without you. So, yeah, that's the message. Love y'all. Bye.